Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Presto brand, their Stuffler. It's a stuffed waffle maker, large Belgian waffles it'll make. Gets excellent customer ratings. And right now it's in the vertical storage position, which allows you to store it in your cabinet. It also has a holder right here where you can put the cord, wrap it and have it here so it takes up less space. So we're gonna open this up and show you everything all about it and we're gonna make some delicious waffles with it. So here's what the unit looks like. This is that tab that holds it up vertically. It comes with a really nice instruction booklet with recipes, but it's real simple to use. So the cord is about two and a half, three feet long and it has a US plug on there. And uh, you just plug it in. As soon as you plug this in, it will come on. There's an indicator light right there. So let's take a look at the inside of this. It's quite unique. When you lift this up, there is two heated surfaces right here, top one and the bottom one. And then the waffle itself is gonna be poured, the batter's gonna be poured inside there. And there is a level right there, there's a line right there, a plus. That's the level you're gonna put the first batter layer. Then you're gonna put your toppings in there. You don't wanna exceed that height there. And then you're gonna close this and you're gonna rotate it immediately once it's heated up, and it's gonna allow the batter to cook on both sides using gravity. Really clever idea, the way they designed this. Now this inside piece right here, this inside piece right here is what holds the waffle and can allow you to grab it after it's cooked. This is like a grabber, you can see right there the way that works, it has a little locking edge on there. This is the key to this whole thing, which allows the batter to stay in there, allows you to remove the waffle because it has these little squares on there. Now this is all non-stick. You don't need to put oil. You want to avoid putting spray oil. If you have to put any oil, just have a little silicone brush or put a little uh, olive oil or canola oil or anything you like. But I shouldn't need it because this is all non-stick. Cleaning is easy. Also just wipe it down after you use it. You want to put things that are cooked in there. If it's uh, meat, vegetables, you want to have them cooked because it won't get high enough temperature to cook the meat. So you put ground beef and things like that or chicken that's already been cooked in there in their stuffing center part. And when you plug this thing in, I'm going to show you, it comes on immediately. And when you first plug it in, it does have a slight scent that comes off. That's totally normal. Right now, these are heating up. So here is a thermal gun, and you can see that it is heating up both sides at the same time. There's that side right there, and there's that side right there. So that's how it's gonna evenly cook your delicious Belgium waffles. So here I'm set up to uh, try this out. I'm gonna preheat it for about 10 minutes or so. So it's plugged in, you can see it's turned on right there. I have the batter, the recipe that was in the manual, and I have savory here and sweet here. This is uh, cheddar cheese and turkey bacon, that'd be one waffle. And this is fruit that I drained, peaches and berries. And this is cottage cheese with a little vanilla and sugar. That'll be the sweet waffle. So we're gonna let this heat up and we're gonna give it a try. So it's been about 10 minutes. We're going to take about a third of a cup of the batter. We want to make it so that it just goes over that line. That you see there's a plus right there. That looks just about perfect. Now we're going to put some turkey bacon. You want to make sure that you don't go past the halfway point of that line right there. We're going to add some cheddar. It works best with chunks of cheese as opposed to shredded. Just like that. Now we're going to take more batter and we're going to fill it to the top of the square there. About another third of a cup. Depending on how much filling you have, you might have to add a little more of this. And now we're going to close this 
and you want to rotate this completely like that like you want to rotate it completely you want to rotate this completely like this and let it keep cooking and we're going to set the timer again be about seven minutes it should be complete so that's the time about seven minutes let's open it up look at that beautiful colors now we're gonna push these inward and that allows you to pull the beautiful waffle look how beautiful that looks and then you just expand them and you now have your stuffed waffle it's normal for the sides to be lighter look at that beautiful pattern on there let's open it up and take a look at it and here is the savory version with the turkey bacon and the cheddar cheese look how delicious that looks now we're going to make the sweet waffle again putting about a third of a cup as the base and you can move it around if it's a little thick now we're going to add we're going to add some cottage cheese that has the vanilla and the sugar. Now we're going to add some fruit, peaches and berries. Again, you don't want to go more than that halfway point, which is right about there. Now we're going to fill the top back up, just like that, don't overfill it. And we're going to close it. And we're going to rotate it again and set the timer and let it do its thing for about seven minutes and it's time to check the second waffle so this is we're going to use that holder again to release it open it up there you have the second beautiful waffle and we're going to open these up and see what they look like and here I've cut open the sweet version right there with the fruit and the cottage cheese and it looks absolutely delicious if you like you could also just make a regular waffle if you don't want to have it stuffed so that's really simple we're gonna pour the batter in here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go that top line a little bit less is okay if you want a little bit thinner that's fine so here I'm making a little bit thinner I'm going to close the unit and flip it and let it cook for about let it cook for about seven minutes and there's a delicious plain waffle with nothing inside so if you just want a plain waffle put a little maple syrup or butter and you're all set look how delicious that looks so after testing what do i think about the presto brand their stuffler this is a very unique product and as i demonstrated it works really well to make some delicious waffles you can be totally creative and you could have a variety of these make batter and make a whole bunch of these you can even freeze them and then just warm them up in your toaster oven Really, really cool product, really well built. I love the way it looks and it makes some really delicious stuffed waffles. So I'm gonna give this product a full five star rating. Please remember hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you alert to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There'll be an ordering link for this product in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order the product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.